Here's a quick demo on how to set up an autoresponder to add it to the list. Uh, we already have an autoresponder organized for the uh, for members from day zero. And if we click under mail, you can see these. Uh, it shows welcome and it shows draft. Those are the ones that we've already set up for day zero and day five to create a new autoresponder for another day. Down here on the left hand side under mails, click new mail. Uh, in order to send this as, uh, to save this, you have to have an email address in. Don't ask me why. It doesn't even have to be real, but I just keep putting uh, my email in there so that when we click Save Draft, it'll save if there's nothing there. So this is a test autoresponder email. Ha! And whatever random text goes in here, and then, you know, you could format it just like everything else. You can... Uh, can and should if you're having links to put the links in there uh, you know HTTP and it gets whatever uh, um, that's obviously not going to be anything if I just put in that uh, so that there's links and everything else now it's also a good idea to also for people who are reading our emails on something with limited bandwidth such as a smartphone or something, they can have it set up that if there's a text version to read, they will get the text version. So you can actually copy what you have here and put it in plain text. So you have a plain text email. Make sure you spell out the links in this case, you know, HTTP colon slash slash whatever, so that they get the whole link. Um, this is just like setting up any other uh, WordPress post, very similar to sending any kind of an email. Uh, Change theme, don't touch that. We have a theme that goes that everything's set up. Custom fields, we can close that up, don't need to look at it. Autoresponder, this is what's important if you're going to add it to the autoresponder. We have one autoresponder set up for new members. And you can add uh, this email to go out based on the month, day, and the hour. So if we want it to go out, uh, you know, two hours after they sign up, even though we have a zero and a five already, those are for days. Uh, we could set it up to go out at 12 hours after they sign up, or one day and three hours, or whatever it is, or uh, we can have it go up to 31 days, or we can have it go at month three, day two, three, you know, whatever it is. Um, and once you do that, you click Add, and it'll show it in its own little box there that it's already in there. If you need to change it, you can click Update. If you need to delete it, you can click, click Delete. Um, if this were going to have a file attached to it, you could actually attach files to it. They would have to be on the internet somewhere already, like in a media file, but you could actually attach files. So if you needed to send PDFs to everybody on a certain date. Um, once you're all done, you would click Save Draft. If you click Send, it would send it to me. And it would also save it as a draft because it's been identified as an autoresponder. But all you need to do is click Save Draft. Oh, enter a valid email. It knows I didn't put .net. Ha, huh, it was smart. See, if there wasn't anything in there, it would have told me. So save draft. And we can go back in here under mails. And we can see the test autoresponder email draft. And see, this is a uh, little clock here is showing that it is uh, something that's scheduled to happen. Anyway, uh, since we aren't going to send this, in fact, I'm going to go ahead and delete it. So it doesn't accidentally go out in three months and three days and zero hours. And that's all there is to it, to creating an autoresponder email.